everyone on social media appears to be perfect, but that's not how it is. Are you part of the one cent club? Dad, I signed up for you to film me today. <laughs> <laughs> Are you part of the one cent club? Give me keys. Can we go get that camera out of my face? Can you sleep sexy? You can take a nap, you can. What up guys, welcome back to the channel. I've been trying to take a break from uh, social media, just kind of <clears throat> really <clears throat> be more present. So in this video, I'm gonna kind of like show you guys and not show, but kind of tell you guys why I did that and how I think it can help you as well. So stay tuned. Oh, and by the way, we're on our way to Milan. We haven't, we haven't traveled in three weeks. So yeah, we're on our way to Milan. All right, so the reason I did the social media fast or taking a break from social media, I just felt like I I was always on my phone looking at social media, wake up in the morning, look at Instagram, wake up in the morning, scroll Twitter. And I was always just like, oh man, he, he got this, he got that. And that's not how we're supposed to be as humans. That's what the devil wants us to do. So he wants us to cov coveted, covet after other people's things. And that's not... Like comparison is a thief of joy. So I found myself doing that too much and becoming angry for no reason and becoming irritated for no reason. So I said, you know what? It's time to give it a break. Hey, 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 hey. It's like neon green. Man, it's cold today. It's a little cold. It's cold today. It is cold. There's a first for everything, huh? There's a first for everything. <laughs> Zeus, your dad used to drop you off at practice? Yeah, that's why I was first to play here. Your dad was dropping off at practices? When I was first playing here, he was I tell you what, I didn't have his driver's license yet. I tell you one more thing. When I was here in the youth team, and the senior team, I came every day by a taxi, but I didn't have the, I didn't have a car. So his dad was dropping them off? No, no, it was a taxi. <laughs> No, I'm selling this to the TMZ for his room. John D? Yeah. Wait, first I give you not enough and then I give you a lot and you're complaining still? Yeah. What is this? Are you, what are you, Jello? So are we going to sleep? <laughs> What's this no. weed? What is like poker?
kind of hungry. It's cool. Line it up. Yeah, I swear, it's not one. What's going on? What's going on? All right, so we just got to the, we already know about this, we're not gonna even discuss. Okay, okay, good day me. Hello. I'm most excited about the big boy bed. Let's see what the view's talking about. Let me see, let me see. You know they always have that. Chin. Yeah. Say hi. No. Oh, you like me. Oh, do you play from a copy? I'm your newest player, Jelly Jumpy Brinet. <laughs> Are you lefty or righty? Lefty for sure. What's your go-to? What's, what's your go-to move? Uh, Euro step. Hey. Here's our little angel baby. How did we get so lucky? You're mediocre. I'm mediocre? <laughs> wow. I'm mediocre. And then we got like an angel. Literally. All right, so this isn't for me, but this is what I read on the study, is that it's important to take breaks from social media because like scrolling and comparing yourself can, you know, bring anxiety, stress, depression, all that stuff. Um, the reason I wanted to make this video is because I watched the Netflix show called Social Dilemma. Um, if you haven't watched it, I suggest you go and check it out and uh, let me know what you think. Guys, for the first time ever, there is a washcloth in the hotel. Thank you. Nothing like a shower after a long day of travel. We're actually in Milan, Italy, and we're staying at the Sheraton. This is our first EuroLeague game in like three weeks because all the teams that we were supposed to play in Israel couldn't travel. We were supposed to play FS and someone else, but tomorrow we play Milan. We'll pick up tomorrow about the whole social media thing. You miss me? What? What? Alright, so in terms of this social media thing that I was talking about, I find myself getting on my phone and going straight to Instagram or getting on my phone and going straight to Twitter when I could easily be going to a book, I could be going to my scriptures, I could be going to something way more productive. I find myself comparing myself to other people. I say comparison is the thief of joy. So that's the biggest thing I wanted to get across is that Everyone on social media appears to be perfect, but that's not how it is, right? So that's my biggest thing, and that's my challenge to you guys, is to give it a break, give it like a seven day break. That's what I do, a seven day break and see how I feel and try to reintegrate it, because it has a lot of positives as well. All right, so you guys know I'm in Milan, about to head to the gym, go eat breakfast, and then we play tonight. It's a big game for us. We're about to go on a run. We have 12 games left in the Euro League, and we're gonna fight every single game, and. See what happens. Oh, what? Broke my joint. Well, I need another mask. Did you sleep good? Yeah. So, Doc. John, what do you think you're doing? Whoa, what a couch! Yeah, but it's kind of hard. I was thinking that. Oh my gosh, that's kind of a weird room, though. Like, just yeah, but what do you like? What's the. Yeah, like.
All right, so I just finished a little treatment. Now we'll go to film, then lunch. When I get back, we'll talk more about this social media stuff, but yeah, we'll talk when I get back. The thing about this social media thing, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to my phone, and I don't like being addicted to things, whether that's drugs, alcohol, pornography, anything. I don't like being addicted. I like to be in control of my actions. So that's where this whole fast came from. It's just still not cold enough in here. So they called the technician. They're gonna make it colder somehow, some way, because this isn't cutting it. This is good. I'm Mr. Blue. Shoot your arm is good? Mm-hmm. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Hey! Say hi! Say hi! Hi! No. So they fixed it, and now it goes super cold. I'll stay there. All right, well, guys, thanks for watching. I'm headed to the game. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and take a break from social at some point in your life. See you next time. See, Milan move it around the horns, but the hustle, the three-point attempt of Punter. Great hustle by Elijah Bryant. And there we say it, just miscues on the defensive end from Maccabi. Bryant finally breaks the duck of Maccabi from beyond the arc. So Milan did a better job that time, although they still switch. Wilbur King guarded by Shields. Finds Calario, finds Bryant. Bryant makes the three, and finally, good offensive rhythm from Maccabi within six. Coach Messina says, let's talk it over. Time out, Milan. He goes to eight points. Maccabi, free Bryant for the layup.